What's going on guys? This is Scott KC Blade Drip and welcome to another edition of Blazing Saddle. Oh, oh, sorry. Um, I got kind of caught up. That was the long, uh, that was the wrong intro. No, you actually landed in home of the 150% guarantee where I guarantee that 100% of the time I'm going to be over 50% right. That is correct more times than not. Little room for error, just a little bit. Every knife has a story, guys. So glad you're here. Yeah. Today, what? Saturday, May 28th. We've got Memorial Day 2022. Depending on when you're watching this, it could be Memorial Day. Could be a weekend holiday. Could be... You could be at work, you could be at lunch, who knows? I've got coffee in hand. We're ready to do this, guys. We're ready to do it. Oh, man. I had to have a little coffee this morning. It's a beautiful morning. It's been raining so much here in the great heart of America, Kansas City area. Follow me, uh, Casey Blade Drip. I'm on Instagram if you'd like to do so. And with that, let's get started. As you can tell from the title, this is my first Medford. Yep, that's it. Medford. Greg Medford. Now, as far as Medford knives, this is my first. Some of the builds that I've seen in the past were a little bit massive. I guess you could say a little bit overbuilt, a little bit too tanky, heavy for the pocket in my eyes. And I'm just going, this is strictly, again, all this stuff's my opinion, guys. You know, I'm just going to tell you what I think and feel. And if you don't feel that way, I'd like to hear your opinions because this is a free area that we can make comments or talk about things as adults uh, with no fears, no fears at all. So anyways, as far as Medford knives, I, you know, a lot of the knives I saw, they were, they were freaking big. I mean, heavy, heavy duty, big, thick, chunky knives. And although I do like big knives, um, I don't, I'm not sure that I was really into the designs that I saw. That's just me. And the price, I'm not, I don't have unlimited funds. Nobody gives me knives. I mean, if you want to, I'll definitely review it. I uh, would love to handle it, talk about it, and, you know. But at this time, I supply my own stuff, and I they're expensive. I mean, they're probably, you're looking, you know, between the four or five and eight hundred dollar range, you know, for a, a kind of a good chunky Medford. So I just never really invested in that particular knife. Now this one, when I saw it a few a couple months ago, and it's been out a while, it's the Smooth Criminal. So the Smooth Criminal looked a lot sleeker, lighter, thinner, but yet still had some beef from what I could tell. I went to order it and it was sold out. Uh, it came up again recently, and I snagged it. So what I'm going to do is unbox this bad boy. I got it yesterday, and I obviously took it out of the packaging, but this is the box that I haven't opened yet. So we'll open it together. I'll put it in hand. I'll talk about what I think about it, my impressions of the Medford Smooth Criminal. Da -da 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 okay, that's, sorry, that's what it reminded me of. Anyways, um, they are made in the USA. And, oh, okay, Smooth Criminal. And, oh, God, yes, S35VN. You got PVD. I think that's for the coating on the, the blade. Um, standard, red, 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 the blah, blah, deep down. Okay. So let's just open it up, take a look at it. You've been with me for four long minutes. If you're still hanging in there by a thread, hope you have your coffee. If you have beer, you may, uh, depending on how many you've had, you could be sliding. Probably made in the United States of America. I like it. I've seen these. There he is. And the information, guys. I 
Phoenix, Arizona. This is kind of cool. I guess you get a couple of little stickers. Oh, you even get a certificate of creation. That's pretty tight. I like that. Same info that was on the box. Okay. So let's go ahead, open this up. Dog tag. All right, well, yeah, all right. Nice little pouch that it came in. That's a nice touch. All right. I love the color. I don't know if this is like a Merlot. If you can kind of tell, get a good representation here. It's a, I, I think it's considered red, but it's like a really deep, I, don't, I want to say champagne red, but it's like a, I guess a Merlot color. Got a little branding on the clip, which is fine, Medford knives. So, Very, you know, very, you've got some, some beef to it, but it doesn't feel overwhelming. But I like that you can kind of tell it's in your hand. You know, and I'm just looking at it aesthetically with you. So we can both kind of just see what it looks like. Looks like the centering is right on. I like the look of it for first looks. All you lanyard boys and girls out there can kind of dance around a little bit because you have a place where you can latch your lanyard on here. Right, Freedom Frog? Okay. Oh, well, that is a smooth criminal. That is a smooth criminal when I just flicked that out. And look at that blade. Holy shit. Wow, that's good stuff, guys. I like the feel of it when I flip that out. I liked the feel of that. So we're, we're working with, uh, like was stated previously, uh, S35VN, one of my favorite steels is a drop point, a hollow drop point on the actual blade itself. It's a hollow grind. Beautiful, nice, kind of thick belly to it. But as you look at the top of the blade here, I don't know if you're familiar with some of the other Medfords. A lot of times they tend to be really, really thick. Um, and this one, you get it where it is kind of thick, but by, by no means is this, I mean, I don't know how to, to really, it's not massive like a typical Medford, but the blade, if we can look at that, that grind on there, just look how beautiful it is. It looks great. Okay, so it is a... A button lock. The lockup is nice. It's nice and nice and tight. That's what she, that's what he said. Uh, she's nice and tight here. No wobbling, wonkiness, anything. So you've got a nice, good, firm lockup. I like the black and the the merlot. That looks really nice. And then you've got your branding there, which is so subtle. So subtle in the the black coated finish that we have here on the blade. And then I think this is some form, I, I don't know guys. In fact, this is my first Medford and I'm unboxing this. I'm not sure if that's the serial number, exactly what the numbers mean. 
The edge is very sharp. I can already tell by feeling it here that it's hair popping sharp. Looks like a really good slicer. Uh, and as far as the blade geometry, looking at this, that's a very, in my opinion, very good EDC size of blade. You got a lot you're working with, but it's not massive. Let's get a measurement here, guys. I'm going to sip my coffee real quick because it is in the morning. Oh, damn, that's good. I used to like when I could take a spoon. Well, I learned to like it, but stand that sucker up damn near in your coffee. You get up at 4.30 in the morning. You get your running in calisthenics, and then you're waiting in that chow line. Oh, man. Mm. You, hey, you were craving coffee. All right, so let's see here. Blade length, I, I think we're looking at three inches. Does that look like three inches to you guys right here? Cutting edge all the way up to the top of the handle. The handle itself, I think we're looking at about four inches. It's about 3.75. So the handle itself, you're not going to get a full grip or purchase on the handle, which is fine. I mean, this is meant to be a little bit of a smaller style. I mean, you're not going to be, uh, be able to get a full grip on this. Um, and let's weigh it just to see. We know that typically Medfords are very heavy knives, heavy duty. So let's zero this out. Three point seven. So what I see. Let's flip her and do it again. Three point seven. Okay. So now we know what we're working with as far as the weight. That's not heavy at all. I mean, it's a little bit of weight to store. You know, it's in your hand, but it's not going to get lost. Look at that action. Nice. I'm going to just sit here for a little while. Can I do that, guys? And flip it for you. Now, I, these flippers and button locks, I don't believe they're considered any type of an automatic. They're an assisted opening. So I, you'd have to check knife laws, but I think that these are legal most places. California, I think you have a limit on the, the size of your blade. I don't think it can be over, is it two or three inches? It's something ridiculous, guys. But yeah, very smooth, smooth criminal working right here, doing his thing. Got to be careful. You might pick your pocket, might wake up with your wife, might be outside your back door, listening to Jim Morrison, backdoor man. You never know. This is a smooth criminal, guys. Can't trust him. Okay. So super, super, super nice action. Reminds me a lot of the Axis lock. Okay. Um, I think this is like a proprietary, uh, definitely tool type, but I don't, this is the button for the, let's open this up. I don't see, just want to see if we can see anything on the inside of here as far as the handles go. Okay, so they're going to be solid Pieces of aluminum for the handle, no milling or any type of, and they're aluminum. This is the first aluminum chassis uh, Medford, from my understanding. So these are solid aluminum handles. Here's your flipper. You have a little jimping on the bottom. You have no other, looks like jimping. This is smooth in your hand. You have a few little ridges, but it's not sharp at all. It fits and feels good in your hand. You are locked in here with this little flipper area and the choil area, so I don't feel at all like I'm gonna slip. You really can choke here, but with this small of a blade and knife, you don't have to really worry about choking way up because your hand is gonna kind of engulf the knife anyways when you're holding it. So that's good. And then you see the action here 
on how the plunge lock works. It's the same for most of these. I've looked at quite a few of these with you guys before in previous videos. That's how the plunge works. Very similar to like the stitch. Okay. So that's a very smooth action. I love the lockup. The, it's just, yeah, this is smooth. I like it a lot. It's gonna get some pocket time from me. Price point on these, I'm not a salesman. I'm not trying to market them. I can't tell you where you can buy them or anything like that, but this one was 330. So you're, this is, you know, for a Medford, that's pretty inexpensive. But yet, that's an expensive knife, guys. I consider $300 expensive. It's an investment. A lot of people can't just go plop that down. In fact, there's a lot of good knives that I review or care, uh, cover that are in the $100 range that I think are wonderful knives, too. So, um, the handles themselves, like I said, all aluminum pocket clip. Oh, yeah, I don't, I, it looks like it is reversible. If you take these screws out and then you put them on this side, it looks like you could. Now, I don't know. I've never, my first time looking at it, so that's something that's to be t determined. I, I'm not positive on that. It looks like they're in the same place. Again, there's your lanyard hole if you choose to. It's kind of a weird position of it because it sticks sticks right out. But there is the lanyard hole. Smooth, you have your backspacer here. Flow through minus your backspacer, which has no texturing here. As you can see, very open design. Clip looks good. I'm usually not a fan of smaller, really slim clips, but for this particular knife and what we're looking at, I mean, you're gonna ride up to here. So your pants pocket would be here. You just have a little area. I'm fine with that. I don't know if you could, I don't consider that a deep carry, but it is, I like this. I like what we have with the clip um, and very simple and small. I, I'm fine with this. Some of their clips I saw had like a metallic or a where it changed color on the uh, the initialing here, but this one doesn't doesn't appear to. I like the uh, milled out area on the handle. See how you have where it's milled out. Let's see if it's yeah it's on each side, and then I'll bet you this is only for tip up right hand carry because this looks like. You can wrap around here and see how you can lock in. But look at, when I grab hold and I'm locked in, I mean, I have some meat on my hand that's hanging down, but I'm, I'm secured. The rest of your fingers aren't forced anywhere. And this, your pinky area, so I'm okay, but this finger is meant to kind of lock right in here in this area. This way, I don't see you wouldn't really have that area so i'll bet you but again it's a smooth criminal so we don't know so i like the that shape um and the texturing contouring it's got a nice shape for the blade and the knife itself again doesn't feel slippery or any you know secure so i'll carry this i'll try it out my first impressions of the Medford Smooth Criminal is a very good impression um, from design, ergonomic. I like it. Weight. Everything else. If you have any comments, if you have any knives that are Medfords or if you have an opinion um, about this particular knife, if you've carried one, played with one, you know, I love it when you guys leave the comments down below. Make sure be safe this weekend if you're partying. If you're getting out, having fun, watch out for people. I always try to take, you know, somewhat care or look out for my neighbors and friends and family. I'm not a huge partier anymore. I, well, I never really was a partier. I like going to bed early. I'm in bed by 9, 10 o'clock every night. And I like getting up at 4 or 5 o'clock. Get my day going. That's me. But um, let's see, anything else going on? No, I'm just, I'm toying with an idea, guys, that maybe next weekend 
or sometime in the future here, keep an eye out. I might have two or three of my own personal knives that are quote unquote like new, meaning I maybe have reviewed them or carried them, but really haven't used them. And I've got the, you know, I might try to sell them. And if I do that, I'm gonna put a video out with instructions on what to do and which knives are for sale. And just to kind of move some of them out because I've got so many that a lot of them, they're just sitting. And I know other people could get use out of them. So I may do something like that in the future. That's just an idea. If I do, I'll have a video about it. Make sure, like, subscribe if you like my content. That's very important at this point. You can also turn on notifications. Reason being, if I hit 200, I'm going to do a knife giveaway. With that being said, you have to be subscribed, you have to like the video, um, and then you'll have to live in the United States. Unfortunately, I'm not shipping it overseas. Uh, be over 18. There's just a few little things involved with that. If I don't hit 200 subscribers by the end of June, which I, I think it's gonna happen soon, Again, you guys, I gave you the dates we're at now. Then I'll do a giveaway. I've got a knife that I got um, that I'm going to review and uh, talk about. And it's the knife I'm going to give away. I appreciate all you guys. I don't really want to advertise it or put it in my title because I believe the giveaway should be for the people that are following and getting you where you're at. I don't want to draw in new people just because they want a free knife. That's not what it's all about, guys. Um, and you're even now you're listening to me talk. I appreciate your time. It's very important. It's the one thing we can't buy back. Uh, this has been the Medford Smooth Criminal. Uh, remember our pets. Remember the vets. Especially on this Memorial Day weekend. Even if you're watching this years in the future. Days, minutes. Past Memorial Day. Just remember it's a special time guys. Everything that they could they gave. And, um, yeah, appreciate you guys. Stay sharp, my friends. This is Scott. I'm out.